First technique is Ogoshi. This is a standard hip throw that you should always practice. Many of the throws you will see in this video stem from this basic movement pattern. The second technique is called Ippon Seonage and it is basically an arm throw. They have different variations like Drop Seonage where you fall onto your knees or Moroto Seonage but today I wanted to focus on the standard base movement. The third throw we have is Tayotoshi. Since my dummy does not have a gi, many of these techniques can work in a no gi or freestyle grappling context. The grip is still important and many of these throws I work off of a 50-50 or over under position. to number four we have Hanegoshi. Hanegoshi is basically a hip throw but you position your far leg against your opponent's leg. Not quite reaping the leg as you would in Uchimata however. Number 5 is Harai Goshi. Harai Goshi kind of resembles hip throw as well, but you trap both your opponent's legs by framing your far leg up against them. The sixth technique is Osotogari, and it is also one of the most common techniques used by beginner to elite judoka. For this throw, you must reap your opponent's leg from the outside with your kicking leg. This can be very effective once mastered. Lucky number 7 on the list is Uchimara, a throw that is used by many famous judoka and champions in Japan. It is a hard technique to master, but once you get the hang of it, it becomes a very effective tool in your arsenal.
Sagaruma is the eighth technique and it is not quite as common to see in high level competition but it can be very effective for self defense against someone who has a lot of forward pressure. Judo in general is perhaps one of the best martial arts for self defense as many assailants on the street like to come forward. The ninth technique is called Ochigari and it is a great technique for off balancing your opponent to set up another throw or can be a great finisher itself if done right. Number 10, Tani Otoshi is one of my favorite techniques as you approach your opponent from a side or rear angle to trip them up. It is beautiful if performed right. Number 11 is called Uranage. It is basically Judo's iteration of the wrestling suplex. It can be very effective if you find yourself in a scramble. You just need to get the grips right and trust in your throw. Number 12 is Morote Nage, or the judo version of the western double leg. Although you cannot use this throw in IJF competition anymore, it is still quite effective. I put a little emphasis on the slam, but this can be totally modified from practitioner to practitioner. Thirteen, we have the blast double. No other technique more assertive in my opinion than the blast double. The movement itself is a showcase in asserting one's will to take the fight wherever he or she wants. This is a must know takedown for all martial artists looking to add grappling to their skill set. The last technique is Deashibarai, the judo foot sweep. 
To me, this is the most elegant and most powerful of them all. Very minimal and a low key movement profile, but can literally take down giants. It's all about timing and the angles. I remember where I once swept the sparring partner who was twice as big as me. He was around 6'3", 230 pounds. If you are a serious martial artist, this is one technique you undoubtedly need to practice and have in your skill set. So there you guys have it, 14 judo wrestling techniques and a great grappling training session in the books. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.